Okay, so I'm just going to do a recap on the session that we had on Wednesday the 21st of October and I'm just going to go over how we completed this necklace. We're going to use the pen tool today, the black arrow, the white arrow tool, the shape tool and we will also be arranging um, the objects um, in terms of how they appear on the screen. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. So if I go to layers here I can use my drop down box and go to drop down arrow and go to new layers. Call this necklace or my necklace, did I say? And click OK. If you don't see your layers here, if you go to uh, Windows, you'll be able to get your layers here as well. If you find that you don't have any tools on your page, if you go to Workspace and select Automation, it will appear on your screen. Okay, so now we've got that, we need to make sure that our layer, our first layer is locked, which it is because we've got the padlock, and we need to make sure that this, the layer that we're working on is the lighter grayed out section. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Eclipse tool. Now this actually is the shape tool. If I go to the drop down, the little arrow in the corner of the tool, you'll see there's some more options. There's rectangle, rounded rectangle, Eclipse, polygon and star tool, which we'll be using also. At the moment we just need to select Eclipse. And the first thing we're going to do is we know that all these beads are all the same size. So I'm going to just draw one of them and I'm going to duplicate it. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure again I've got my um, Eclipse tool. I'm going to make sure that I hold my Alt and my Shift key together. And can you see that the cursor changes to like a target, um, a sort of target icon. And what I need to do is click in the center of the circle and drag out. Now basically when you hold the Shift and the Alt key together, it means that the circle or the shape that you're drawing is going to be in proportion. So if you've got a square for instance and you hold the Alt and the Shift key, you'll get a perfect square. So that means that if I actually have, if I was to check the diameter of this bead, it will be the same no matter where I took the measurement from. So as I can see, as you can see, I've already got one um, circle, so I'm just going to get my black arrow tool and move it into position. Now if I hold my Alt key, if you look at the actual cursor, you'll see that the Alt key actually makes two arrows appear on the screen. If I move the away from the center, it will go back to its normal arrow. So you do need to make sure that you're on the center point of the circle. Holding the shift key though, if you click and drag, it duplicates the same shape. So I'm just gonna do that again. I'm just holding the Alt key, and I'm going to, once I'm happy with it in the right position, I'm going to let go of the mouse, I'm going to go back over it again, still holding the Alt key, and I'm going to drag. Let me go over here actually. So I'm going to get my black arrow tool, click on the circle, I'm going to hold my Alt key over the center, I'm going to drag. Then I'm going to let go of my mouse, still holding the Alt key, I'm going to click and drag. Still holding the Alt key, I'm going to click, let go, again, click, drag, and let go. Okay, if I use my hand, because I'm quite close, if I use my hand, I can actually move the page along to get to the other beads. Again, I'm going to hold my Alt key. I know this is still selected because the abandoned box is around it. So I'm going to continue holding my Alt key and dragging again. Again, the same thing here. Keep on holding the Alt key, click and drag, let go, release, again, Alt key, click, drag, release, click, drag and release, click, drag and release, click, drag and release. It's really important that you put your cursor in the center of the circle when you're actually duplicating the shape. Okay, so now I've got all my beads. I'm quite happy with that. I'm just gonna come here and I'm actually gonna draw my oval shapes, which is basically part of the pendant. 
So again, I can still keep hold of, I can still keep the Eclipse tool because it is relatively the same shape. Um, but I'm not going to hold the um, Command and Shift this time because an oval basically is not in proportion. Obviously, it's longer and um, much um, narrower. So I'm going to come here again and I'm going to actually, let's go a bit closer so you can see. Eclipse tool. I'm going to drag my click and drag out into the oval shape. I'm going to get my black arrow tool and I'm going to move it into position. Now if I'm not happy with the shape of it, if I hover over with my black arrow tool still and if I go to any of the corners, you'll see that another arrow appears. Let's go a bit closer. So you'll see I've got a two-way arrow with a straight line going through and I've got another arrow which actually has a bend for it. So the one with the bend going through it is called the rotating arrow. And if I actually just click on the corner and drag round, I can actually negate that shape, that angle. If I want to make it slightly thinner, all I need to do is go over the um, center points. As I said again, we'll have the two-way arrow with a straight line, which basically is going to play around with the scale. So it's going to make it smaller and narrower. And again, if I do the same to the bottom, because it's a bit long, I'm going to drag it up. So I can see I'm quite happy with that, where that is at the moment. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold my Alt key, hover over the center, and I'm going to drag. I'm going to hold my Alt key, hold over the center, and I'm going to drag. Okay. So now I've got my pendant, I've got my beads. The last thing that I'm going to draw before I draw the chain, let's go in, is the star. Now if I go to the shape tool, as I said before, if you click down on the arrow here, and you'll see the last one before the flare tool is the star tool. Selected that and the tool is actually changed because that's the one that's visible in the toolbar. So again, I'm going to hold my Alt and my Shift key together in the center of this star. And I'm going to click and drag outwards. And I'm just going to actually, I think that's okay for the moment. I'm going to let go and let go of my Alt and Shift. I'm going to get my black arrow tool and I'm going to move my star down. And I think that's okay for the shape, which is fine. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this star because this star basically is the same in proportion um, in terms of the angles, but it's just smaller. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Command C for copy. We're going to do Command F. And our Command F means move to the front. You won't see anything because basically what it's done is it's copied the star and it's pasted it directly on top of the original star. So at the moment, they're on top of each other. I'll just show you just to see. You can see there's two stars there. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to take the second star that I've just duplicated, and I'm going to hold my Alt and my Shift key together, and I'm going to hover over the corner until I get that two-way arrow. Now, just like with the circle where we made we, we um, clicked on the center, and we dragged out. In this case, we're going to drag inwards because we want to make the star smaller. You just click and drag inwards until you're happy. So once you're happy, if you let release the mouse and release the command and alt, the shift and alt, I beg your pardon. Okay, so now we've got two stars. We've got our pendant. What I'd like to do, let's go back so you can see a bit more, is I'd like to add a bit of colour just to help me see what's going on. So what I'm going to do now is get my black arrow tool and I'm going to select everything. So I'm going to select the beads, the pendant and the stars. So I'm going to get my black arrow tool and I'm going to drag over everything. All the beads, all the stars and the pen, the part of the... Um, the links for the pendant. So click and let go. So I can see that I've selected everything because the abounding box is around everything. I've used my black arrow tool which selects everything and I'm going to give it a stroke color. So what basically it means is that because I've selected everything 
when I change the stroke color here, it will change the stroke color for everything. So let me give this a blue. And can you see everything now has the same fill color and it has the same stroke color. So if I click anywhere off the page with the black arrow tool, it releases. So nothing is selected now. What we can see when we go here actually, is we can see that if we look at our original necklace, that the star actually is behind the shape here. So what we need to do on my star, or our stars, we need to send that star backwards. We need to send it behind the links. So we're gonna get our black arrow tool, we're gonna to set the stars only. If I drag over the two, I can see that where the red is means where all, what has been selected. So what I'm gonna do is right click, arrange, and send to the back. And immediately you can see that this shape now is in front of the star. So let's complete this necklace by drawing the chain. So we are going to use our pen tool in this instance. We don't need a fill color, so we're gonna get rid of the fill on this occasion. Again, click making sure that the fill box is to the front, so it's in front of the stroke box. Clicking none, and so we've only got our stroke. Now we're going to draw our chain using the pen tool. So we're gonna make sure that the pen tool that we've selected is just the one that hasn't got any minuses or pluses. It's just a standard pen tool. And we're going to change our stroke weight. So we can change it here to 16 or we can change it here again to 16. Again, if you don't see your stroke dialog box here or if you don't see it on the bar here, you need to actually go to Windows and then select Stroke. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my shape here. Um, yes, I'm gonna click here. And I'm going to just click here. Oh, we get the pen tool, white arrow tool, sorry, and I'm going to correct my curve. It's a bit better. Perfect. And I'm going to restart my stroke again. So if I go to the pen tool and if I click back on that point, as you can see, before I actually go anywhere near it, there's just an asterisk um, by the pen tool at the moment. If I hover over the last point I've just drawn, I can see it changes to a minus. If I click on it, it means that I've reconnected to that stroke. So the next point I draw, connected that line. I'm not gonna worry too much that it's not perfect. And I'm gonna close that shape at the top there. Okay. I'm just gonna go back and correct it. So again, using the white arrow tool, if I go to the curve that I'm not happy with, I'm gonna drag slightly downwards with my mouse just to bring it more in line with the shape. So I can go do this as many times as I want until I'm actually happy with it. Yeah, quite happy with it. I think it's okay. Close as it's gonna be. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, at the moment, this chain is only a stroke. So when we look here, it's only got stroke color. But if we try to put a fill color on it, for instance, we get the whole shape filled and we don't really want that. What we want to do is to change the infill color of the stroke. So let's just get rid of that. So what we need to do is, we get our black arrow tool, we've selected the chain, we're gonna to go to objects, expand, and the dialog box comes up and it asks you what do you want to expand. Now basically what the expand does is that it breaks down a stroke or a um, raster image 
into points, basically. So if you wanted to adapt a, a, a text, for instance, or a letter like an A, and you wanted to fill it with a different colour and have a different outline, this is a good way of doing it. So we're going to make sure our fill and our stroke box are ticked, and we're going to go OK. Now immediately, as soon as I pr press OK, you can see that the line that was originally in the centre, there's now two on either side. So if I wanted to fill this colour as before, I couldn't fill it. Let's have, let's give it a black, for instance, on the stroke. And if I want to change the inside colour of the chain, I can do so by clicking on the fill and pressing OK. So now instead of filling the inner circle, it's filled the inside section of the chain. So we've nearly completed this. The only thing that's slightly weird at the moment, as we saw with our original, the chain actually is behind the beads. So again, we're going to do the same thing we did before with our, um, our links at the um, pendant. We're going to get our black arrow tool, we're going to select the chain section, we're going to do right click, arrange, send to the back. And immediately you can see the beads are at the back, and um, the chain is at the back, and the beads are to the front. We can take off our eye off our original and we can see, click anywhere on the page, we've completed our necklace. That's the end of that task. Enjoy.